Welcome back to the Graphically Hip channel. My name is Sarah, and today I'm going to kind of piggyback off of the last video that I did, which is where I taught you how to cut out an image using a pen tool. Um, and in that video, I mentioned that um, another cool trick was to cut out somebody from only half of an image. So today I'm going to do that so that you can see what I meant by that. So this is the image that we used yesterday. And I just want to point out that I would never actually use this image in my everyday business because I don't have the copyrights to it. So um, please, 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 all you con content creators and t-shirt makers and sticker makers and all you people, um, don't use images that you just stole off of Google. Make sure that you have the copyrights, especially if you're going to be selling. Um, because people can come after you for the rights to that image and send you all kinds of fun legal letters and make it a big deal. So um, only use original art or art that you've purchased or art that you have copyright to. So I'm just deleting the background stuff. I'm going to select my image that we have inside of a clipping mask, which is what we did in the last video. And I'm going to say release clipping mask. So now there's my shape again, and I'm going to give it a color so that we can still see it. And I'll just make that a little thicker so it's super visible. Um, and actually what I'm going to do to make this really fast is just cut off. I'm going to draw a box here and then I'm going to select my box and my outline, and I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool. Now, because this box, I drew it after I drew my outline, that box is now in my inside the layers. It'll be on top of this. If I drew the outline last, then my outline would be on top. Now, in order for this tool to work, this is the um, back minus front tool. You have to have the shape that you want to cut placed on top. So I've selected both my shapes and I'm going to go back minus front and that leaves me with the bottom half. And actually, uh, I'm going to do this the other way. I'm going to pull him down here and cut that off. And I'm also going to send that shape to the back just so you can see what this looks like. Um, if your shape is not on top. So now it leaves me with that shape and that's not what I want here. So I'm going to undo that, put my shape back on top. There, now I'm left with just the top half of slash. Now I'm going to take a square and draw it roughly like so, because I want the bottom half of the image to remain. And then I'm going to select my existing outline. So now all I have selected is the top half of slash and this box. I'm going to use my Unite tool within Pathfinder. If you ever use Corel Draw, this tool is called Weld. So now I have united those two shapes together. And I'm going to place the image of slash back into this clipping mask by selecting both right clicking and saying make clipping mask. Now I have put slash inside a clipping mask where only half of his background is showing, which is kind of a neat little trick. <laughs> 